Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be testing out a EVGA GeForce GTX 1660. Okay, this is the non-TI model. It has 6 gigabytes of RAM and it's GDDR5, not GDDR6. All right. And with this card, this is not my card, by the way. This is my, this is one of my friends, and I'm just borrowing it just for this video, just just to see what kind of hash rates we get on this card. And a funny thing to note with this card is that it is three slotted PCIe three slotted, and not the regular two slotted cards. So it's it's pretty wide and pretty thick. That some people might say, and I I just think it's an interesting card. It is. It gets pretty hot when it's mining because it's. This is only a one fan model, as you guys can see, and it only has one PCIe eight pin for power, and yeah, it's it's a pretty cool looking card. But I, in my opinion, I don't think I would get this card for mining because just because it's a one one fan model. But you know what? We're gonna go ahead and get the hash rates and whatnot on this card anyway. So. You guys can see in tech power up here, it is a Hynix memory on this 1660. So I was kind of sad that this was not a Micron or Samsung memory card. So uh, you guys may see some hash rates may be different from other 1660 reviews, uh, depending on their memory. But let's just go ahead. I'll show you guys what my testing methodology is here. And in case you guys do not want to watch the rest of the video, feel free to look in the description and I have all of the hash rates for all of the different coins that I have there and all of the power consumption and overclock settings that I used. So feel free to look through that. Okay, but anyways, the rest of the video, I've already gone ahead and got the stock and overclock one setting hash rates already because it will just take too long if I were to do each one individually in this video. So for this video, we're going to be doing the overclock two settings, as you guys can see here, uh, which will be the 53% power limit, 150 plus core, eight plus 800 memory, and 80% fan. And the reason why I said 80% fan is because this card gets pretty hot. Uh, as I said before, um, but let's just go ahead, guys. Let's let's start. So we're gonna first do Ethereum. Okay. So on, on Ethereum, this card got 17 mega hash stock at 125 watts, and then at 70 power limit, minus 200 core, plus 900 memory, we got 22 mega hash at 90 watts. The reason why it's at 900 memory is because I couldn't go past a thousand memory on this card. It would just get too unstable and freeze. So I found the best memory overclock to be at around 900 memory. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do it. I already have it powered in, 53 power limit, two, minus 200 core, and plus 900 memory and afterburner. So let's go ahead and open up Claymore 14.7, and we'll see what we can get here. As well, I also did try to do the dash strap one, uh, which works for the 10 series uh, NVIDIA cards. Um, I thought that maybe it might work with Claymore 14.7 and a 1660, but synced, uh, it didn't work because it uh, didn't. Uh, it said it wasn't uh, available uh, on this card. It just gave me an error. So the dash strap one wouldn't work. Okay, so with 53 power limit, guys, you guys can see we are getting around 22.2 mega hash at 69 watts. Okay, so let's put that in. 22.2 mega hash at 69. Uh, let's see what GPU-Z is saying. Yeah, 70 watts. I'm just going to say 70 watts here. So that is the hash rate for Ethereum at the lowest power limit here. It looks like it didn't garner that much going from 50, 70 to 53. It's the same hash, has the same hash rate on Ethereum. And the reason for that, I'm thinking, is because this one has Hynix memory. I've had the same experience before with GTX 1060s and the GTX 1060s with Hynix memory are, are just terrible on Ethereum. But if you had Micron or Samsung memory on the 1060s, they would perform much better on ETH hash by like 3 or 4 mega hash more. Alright, so that's the Ethereum hash rate. Take those, take those hash rates as you will with these overclock settings. Alright, so now let's go ahead and I'll show you guys Ravencoin, which I already did. Uh, the reason why I did them already because the doing these hash rate comparisons for Ravencoin, you need to do it for a, like at, at least an hour or a day, and I only had time to do it for an hour, 
And as you guys can see here, stock power limit, we were able to get 18 mega hash at 124 watts. Overclock 1 with 70 power limit, we were able to get 16.9 at 90 watts. And overclock 2 with 53 power limit, we were able to do 16.76 mega hash at 68 watts. So at a one hour one hour average. So as you guys can see, that is much better on the 63% uh, power limit setting at 16.76 mega hash for Raven coin. So that's pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the vert coin test with the OCM one click miner. And I've already changed the overclock two setting. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do 150 core and plus 800 memory and 80% fan and 53% power limit. All right, so let's open it up and we'll see what kind of hash rates we get. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are getting 38.22 mega hash at how many watts here? 70 watts. All right, let's put that in. 38.22, 38.22 mega hash at 70 watts, which is very, very efficient. So, great, great hash rate on this 1660. I love it. All right, so we're going to stop mining. Let's go on to the next coin. Thank you, Vertcoin. Now, we are going to do Aeon. Good old Aeon, one of my favorite projects. Uh, I highly I highly recommend everyone go try out mining Aeon with Gminer and of course mine it on aeonpool.tech, one of my favorite pools. Obviously, we're not mining on there right now. We're mining to luxor.tech. Uh, this is just the demo uh, pool on Gminer. So, um yeah, so let's just see here of the Aeon hash rate. 146 souls per second at, again, 70 watts. So pretty good. Um, 146 souls at 70 watts. All right, good, good, good coin. Good, uh, good miner as well. All right, let's go to the next one, guys. Bitcoin gold. I know some of you guys mine Bitcoin gold. Let's just see what kind of hash rate we get here. And we are getting 35 souls per second at 70 watts. Okay, let's put that in. 35 souls at 70 watts. All right, not too bad, not too shabby. Thank you, Bitcoin Gold. And you guys can see the numbers there, comparison. It looks like, um, I think the, the overclock two setting is more efficient, uh, but we can do that calculation later. So let's do the next coin, Grin29. Now we're gonna use uh, NB Miner actually. Uh, good old NB Miner. I think that's better on Grin. All right, let's just see what hash rates we get. So stock, we were getting 3.71 grabs per second at 120 watts, and overclock one, we we're getting at 4.12 grabs per second at 90 watts. So we will see here what we get on NB Miner. I'm suspecting we're going to get a little bit less than the 4.12. Uh, let's see. Ooh, okay, so 3.83 graphs per second. Yeah, I think that's that's what I thought. Um, even with the core and memory bumped up. But I think the power limit is what uh, gives it a little bit less uh, hash rate. So. Okay, so yeah, 3.83 grass per second. 3.83, oops. 3.83 grass per second at, I'm gonna guess, yeah, 70 watts, of course. Yeah, we're gonna be stuck. I think this pot, this this video card, this 1660 will just be stuck at uh, 70 watts from now on. Um, now, let's go ahead and try Beam with G minor. Uh, good old Beam. I think Beam is gonna have a hard fork real soon. Or, uh, or yeah, or already happened actually. So beam, we're getting 15.6 souls at 115 watts. Overclock one, 70 power limit. We're doing 16.8 souls at 90 watts. Now let's see what we get at 53 power limit. 15.2 souls per second at 69 watts. Ooh, so we've, uh, yeah, we've dropped only about one, <laughs> one soul really. 15.2 souls per second at 70, oh no, yeah, 70 watts, 70 watts, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so good old beam, uh, let's try A Eternity now. With A Eternity, we were getting 3.73 grabs per second at 120 watts. Overclock 1, we were getting 4.24 grabs per second at 90 watts, 
And for this one, I'm assuming we're probably going to get 3.8. Yeah, 3.8 grass per second. 3.9 maybe. Yeah, so around 3.97 grass per second at 70 watts. Right, right on. 3.97 grass per second at 70 watts. Awesome. All right. Now, next coin, guys. Let's keep it going here. Zero. We're going to go, uh, we're going to use G minor for this one. And so we're getting 24 souls per second at 120 watts and 22.9 souls at 90 watts. Now, let's see if this 1660 will get, you know, uh, even better. Probably, I'm going to say, yeah, 21. 21 souls, that's my guess. 21.2 souls at 70 watts. Okay, yeah, I was right. So, 21.2 souls. 21.2 uh, souls at 70 watts, of course. 70 watts. All right, so that's zero. We're going to do swap now for those that are swap miners. I think Swap has been pretty profitable on GTX 1060s, uh, maybe some other cards as well, but I've seen on 1060s it looks like Swap is the number one. Alright, I'm assuming this was going to be uh, 3.9 graphs per second on Swap. 3.9, <laughs> yeah, right on the dot. 3.9 graphs per second at 66 watts, 67 watts, huh, interesting. So we're, getting, we're using a little bit less power here. So let's write that in, 3.9 grass per second at 65 watts. Oh, 66 watts, yeah, 66 watts. Okay, so that is good old swap, and now we're gonna try Zalcash with G minor. Let's see what kind of hash rate we get here. 21.7 souls per second at 70 watts. Okay, so we've dropped quite a bit on Zellcash. 21.7 souls at 70 watts. Uh, or, uh, yeah, 69, 68 watts. It looks like, yeah, 69. Why not? Okay, uh, so that's Zellcash. You guys can see the difference there. Um, now let's do Z coin and we are going to use the T-Rex miner and Z coin XZZ is the M Merkle tree proof protocol and we are going to use the web browser here so T-Rex miner will show the kilohashes or in mega hash I'll probably convert it into mega hash okay so it looks like Right now it's showing seven one uh, 1774 kilohashes. So that's like that's about 1.7 mega hash, and that is at what? How many watts here? Yeah, 70 watts. Uh, 1.77 mega hash at 70 watts. Okay. So that's Zcoin, guys. Pretty good. Not too bad. Um, now let's do Bitem. Uh, the tensority uh, algorithm using T-Rex Miner. Now, here it is. I don't know if many of you mine uh, Bitem, but uh, maybe some of you do. All right, so we are getting 274 hashes per second at 43 watts, 47, 48 watts. Now, I don't know why Bitem doesn't use the full amount on this card. I'm not sure why. But uh, that's just what we're getting on this card, 1660. So I'm just going to write that in, 48, uh, 48 watts on using T-Rex Miner with the 1660. All right, guys. Well, there we go. We got all the hash rates. Now we are going to go to what to mine, and we'll see what is profitable, uh, which, which coin is profitable on the 1660 as of making this video. So we're gonna go ahead and put in all the hash rates here. We're gonna do the overclock two setting hash rates, okay? So I think that's the most efficient on this card. 22.2 uh, mega hash at uh, 70 watts. Next one, Raven coin, let's do on what to mine here. 16.76 mega hash at 68 watts, pretty good. Uh, Vert coin, which is Lyra 2 Rev 3 at the moment, is 38.22 at 70 watts. Now, Aeon, 
which is on here we're getting about 146 souls per second at 70 watts now we're gonna go with Bitcoin gold which is the Zhash algorithm here and we're getting 35 souls at 70 watts Wow what to mine really has the wrong hash rates for the 1660 uh, well, I guess it really depends on the card. Kukka Rude 29, Grin 29. Let's put in 3.83 at 70 watts. Uh, Beam, we're going to put in 15.2 at 70 watts. Uh, A Eternity, is A Eternity on here? Uh, no, Kaku Cycle, yeah. Uh, that would be 3.97 graphs per second at 70 watts. Uh, zero. I don't think zero is on here. Nope. Um, Zelcash. Is Zelcash on here? Mm, yes, Zelhash. I think that's Echohash. Yeah. Uh, 21.7 at 69 watts. Zcoin MTP is here. 1.77 mega hash at 70 watts. And last but not least, Bitem, which I believe is not on here. Uh, tensority. I don't see the tensority algorithm on here. But anyways, let's go ahead and calculate now. We're going to do at 10 cents a kilowatt hour because that's what I usually do on the rest of my videos. And we're going to hit calculate. And let's just see, as of making this video, what is the most profitable on this 1660? So it looks like Veal or Veil, uh, the X16RT algorithm, is making after 10 cents a kilowatt hour 31 cents a day not too shabby pretty efficient card uh, bitcash Rio Rio oh it looks like kryptonite G oh kryptonite uh, algor oh I didn't even test out the kryptonite one Wow but it looks like Rio is third place on this list and let's see here kryptonite it looks like it's doing 520 hashes at Probably at 70 watts, even even better. Well, that's something to look for, guys. Um, Z coin is up there as well. Uh, Raven coin is up there as well. Swap, Zellhash, a lot of a lot of coins, and then Ethereum Classic down in a little bit. But you know, looks like X16R Raven coin is pretty good on the 1660 as of making this video. But you know, every day what to mine changes in terms of profitability depending on the coin prices and all that stuff. So. Take that as you will, guys. Look at the hash rates uh, that we currently get in the description. And uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys so much. Smash the like button, all that stuff. Feel free to use my affiliate links down below. Helps me out and helps out the channel for anything, any projects that I'm doing. I, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. And peace out.